Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in. You are watching Passive Earnings. And in this video, I'll be talking about the power of, of options trading and how you can generate consistent income with options trading. So uh, when I first started hearing about options and how it works, I started uh, in dealing with naked options. So now we need to understand there are two types of options. One are uh, the type where you sell or buy um, puts and calls and those are naked options. Basically you put up, uh, put down um, some few hundred dollars uh, in selling put option if you think that the stock price of any given stock will go down or you buy a call option if you think the price of that stock will be going up. Those are all naked options. So what that means is when you are buying options, you are paying a premium and hoping that, you know, you will get um, um, some money back and not only money back, but also um, the stock will move in the direction that you think um, it's going to move. Um, so I will show you guys one example of that. So say, for example, I'm dealing with uh, SOXL and this is all for the new traders. This is the mistake that I made when I started trading options. Uh, so I was buying calls and buying puts. So if I think that, you know, um, in next four days, the stock price of SOXL will be below $18 or let's say $18. What I will do here is I will buy a put for $18. So if you see here, it is going to cost me $48 for 100 shares, basically 48 cents for every single share and a contract is for 100 shares. So I'll be paying $48. And if you see here, the good thing with Robinhood, it shows you how much um, is your break even price. So if you look here, my break even price will be $17.52. So if the price at the expiration date, which is showing up here, so expiration on November 10th, if the price of SOXL is $17.52, that is my break even price because I paid 48 cents per share for, uh, for $18 strike price. So anything below that, meaning the price of the, um, of this ETF goes below, below $17.52, only then I will start making money. And that, you know, um, that is where, you know, I will uh, be uh, in profit. Whereas if the price stays the same, which is currently 1822, um, the I will be in loss. And the loss, if you see here, loss is $48, which I'm paying as a premium to the option seller. And it remains at 48 until $18. And from 18 to uh, 1752 it keeps on decreasing uh, so it it basically is in my favor but the break even would still be $17.52 so <clears throat> three things can happen in this scenario on November 10th the price of SOXL could be below 1752 in in that only case, I will be in profit. I'll be making money and the expected profit you see here, uh, when I scroll here, it shows you the expected profit. So the max I can make is around 1752, uh, which is $1,752, right? Uh, the other scenario would be the price would be at the, at the expiration on the expiration date, the price would be at the strike price, which is $18. At the $18, I would still be in negative $48, basically because that's what the cost of buying this option contract is. 
and if price goes above $18, then of course I'm in negative anyways. Uh, but that's my maximum loss or uh, maximum uh, loss that I can have on this trade. So this is what I was doing initially uh, three and a half, four years back when I first started looking into options. And this is a big, big red flag. Now, consider you are on the opposite side of the table. What I mean by that is you collect $48 when you sell this put option so when you sell a put option at $18 you are collecting $48 basically what scenario will look like that is let me get that to that scenario so now if you see if the price of the stock stays above your strike price meaning $18 if it stays above $18 I get to keep the premium which is $48 three three dollars uh, th th sorry three cents here are the uh, the basically a regulatory cost that Robin Hood uh, has to pay uh, for any option contract so they charge you that but uh, consider it $48 right so if the price in this scenario is at or above $18, I get to keep my $48 and then I also get my money back, which was the $1,800 collateral that I'm gonna put. So of course, to get into this option, I have to put or I have to have $1,823 uh, or $1,800 even um, to get into this, but I'll be making $48 um, just right out of the bat, like without even having to exercise this or anything like that, I will still get to keep $48, which will be sent to my account right away when I open this contract, selling a put, right? And if the price goes below, below $17.52, only then I will be in the loss meaning my cost price or my cost basis will be $18 but the current price would be say $17 or 23 cents or something around that and then that I have to you know um, uh, take take in account that I got paid $48 here as well uh, but then again like I can sell the call afterwards um, so that's that's the difference of strategies um, that I have uh, learned about in the last two three years there there's a lot more to it like how do I decide what number or what should be the strike price at what date um, so all of that I can um, show you and tell you guys in detail in some other video uh, but to to give you some context this is how I was losing money. So if I show you my account, um, all time account. So this is where uh, 2019 in this Robin Hood account specifically, I started, I was making some money uh, selling calls and uh, selling puts, naked options. Uh, but from here, July 19th, uh, 2021 to October 2022, you see a big drop. Basically, I lost close to $4,700 and uh, over 5% of my total uh, investment. And then I had to recover from this point, not just because uh, the the stock market started having good run, run up, but also I'm making making a lot of money selling cash secured puts. So if I go in this option, uh, I open this uh, contract, uh, basically 12 contracts today, uh, 12 contract with uh, 17 cents uh, per contract. So basically uh, got, uh, this got me close to 200, um, $204. Uh, if I'm not wrong, $204 right here, uh, $204 were sent to me right away uh, when I said that I am willing to buy 1,200 shares of SOXL 
at $16.50. Basically, the current price is $18.22. So I'm buying it at discount. And not only that, I'm getting paid to do so. So this is why I think selling options on the stocks and ETFs that you think you're going to keep them or you are bullish on, this is the best thing you can do to your portfolio. And that is one of uh, one of many tricks that I'm using to generate over $1,200 every single month uh, in passive earnings without doing much. Uh, another trick or, uh, you know, long-term strategy that I have is spending 33% on SCHD. So if you see here, uh, my big portfolio has this SCHD. Uh, investment 33% um, I want to keep the portfolio diversity to 33% here it's more than 47% but it, it's getting down and the reason is I'm daily investing in QQQM from the premium that I get from selling cash secured puts on SOXL so this strategy um, i'm keeping 500 shares of schd bullish long term on schd basically 500 shares give you more than more than hundred dollars every single month even after tax that's after tax income uh, from schd if you have 500 plus shares uh, that's how much total it comes down to and then um, outside of that i also am investing in qqqm nasdaq 100 this is similar to qqq uh, the uh, invesco's most infamous um, you know etf that is out there uh, so currently my market value is twenty four hundred dollars uh, total return is close to negligible but i was down like on total return last week um, and if you see here um, in one week uh, i've gained 6.26 percent here breaking above the investment that i have uh, put in uh, so my average cost is 150 dollars 93 cents and current value if you see is uh, $151.81 so uh, so there's that so I'm keep on investing in these two as well so SCHD would be my 33% investment uh, my other 33% would be in QQQM so in combination of SCHD and QQQM I'm hoping to beat the market like S&P 500 if I invest 30% 33% here 33% here and the rest of the 34 percent i would still be selling cash secured puts and covered calls on the stocks that i think would give me the best premium uh, although i may or may not want to hold them in long term um, outside of that i also currently hold 20 more than 2800 dollars in buying power um, i may um, I made dollar cost average on SC, uh, SOXL as well. Uh, currently, my um, average cost is $20. Uh, I have 1,000 shares of this, but uh, I'm selling cash secured. Uh, sorry, I'm selling covered calls on this, so I'm making some money there. Uh, so I've sold uh, 10 contract uh, off as uh, <clears throat> of SOXL uh, giving me $450 for this month uh, and the expiration date is 12.01 uh, so basically I'll be rolling this option again soon uh, but the point here is that I'm selling uh, these covered calls and cash secured puts to generate more than $1,000 more than $1,200 every single month um, and and doing it basically risk-free so of course when you are investing there's always risk involved but comparatively risk-free is what i would say or i would say the risk here is very minimum uh, compared to selling cash uh, selling naked calls and naked bot options uh, so that's about it i hope you guys like this video and like my like me being transparent and sharing you with the details of my account um, the total account and you know the total uh, output 
or the outcome that I have here. Uh, so if you guys like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who can learn from this. And uh, let me know in the comment section if you want me to make more of these videos or you want to have a session one on one. Um, I can do that as well. Uh, for now, um, this is the account looks like and I hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care of yourself and people around you. Goodbye.